You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 274th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, seated behind the golden MVP microphone where we're talking the business of plumbing. Hey, what do I mean by the business of plumbing? Hey, does it ever seem like um, you, you're... Um, you know, you're robbing Paul to pay Peter, okay? Or just not enough. And Paul's um, broke. Yeah, and Paul's broke, <laughs> right? And lovely Laura chimes in. Have we? We've never been there, have we? Never. Or does it feel like the harder you work, the less you make? All right, anything like that? Anybody? Hey, anybody? Bueller? Hey, if, if that's how you're feeling, hey, that's uh, because you don't know the business side of your plumbing business all right and that's what we're all about here let's talk some uh the business of plumbing hey it's good to have you on board here yeah. hey if you're joining us live and i hope you are hey we got a great episode here yes we do okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the 411 on piece rate pay i've been getting a lot of questions about piece rate pay sure what is have. piece rate pay why piece rate pay uh the heck with piece rate pay <laughs> whatever uh piece rate pay you can take your piece rate pay and, and shove it or whatever okay hey we're gonna we're gonna go all around it here okay we're gonna talk about the piece rate pay mm -hmm. and so stick around this okay. is important to your plumbing business mm -hmm. hey so i'm glad you're here if you're watching live I please type live in the comments all BJT right arena Hey, BJ, my brother. Plumbing out of Amarillo by morning. Texas. All right, Route 66 Plumbing. If you want to work right. for a great company and you live around Amarillo, Texas. And you're looking for opportunity, mm -hmm. want to be part of a class act team, mm -hmm. okay, something special. Route 66 okay. is your place. Yeah, check them yeah. out, all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're watching the replay, all right, you happen to catch this later, and you're watching the replay, glad you caught the replay. Mm -hmm. um, this is good stuff here. You need to know this for your plumbing business. You surely hey, do. Type replay. And if you're listening mm -hmm. to the podcast, mm -hmm. you know what to do. Just keep on listening. All right. All right. Who we have joining us? Hey we got BJ's Frankie's, in the house. Yep. Frankie's checking in. Jim Lowry's Frankie. checking right. in. Carmen La Casa, one of my favorites. Right. Hey, Carmen. How you doing? I'm glad that you are here. Ricky Hudson is in the house. All right. Oh, Good to have everybody here. Uh, let's see. Rob Costello. I oh, hope I'm saying that right. Rob. Um, Doug. Sorry, Doug. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your last name. Like, is it up there yet? Yeah. No, it didn't pop up. Okay, everybody's checking in like crazy. There's yeah. four million people watching right now. That's um, good. That's a lot. All right, hey, because this is stuff you got to know. I hope you. <laughs> hey, I want you to. I want you to listen up here. Okay. I wanted to have my board here, my whiteboard, but I had some technical difficulties. Here we, go, uh, we don't have I the camera all set up yet here, so it does some freaky things. We, we talk about white Fuck scale color. for those of you in video. It does. It's it, freaking out. So what happens is it, it, it tunes in all the white, and I don't. <laughs> I just it just tunes me out, like, and I can't where have did that. You go? Okay, you, you can't tune out the star of the show. You, you know, no, you cannot. Right. Hey Jesse Brooks, <laughs> checking in. Hey Jesse. Right. Uh, Red Breast Plumbing, um, oh. Urisis, I believe his name is. He's on, out on the YouTube, watching the YouTube channel. All right, channel. welcome from the YouTube um, Rich side Jolly, of things. Jolly Rooter, you know Jolly I love Rooter. that name. That's cool, cool such name. A great business name, plumbing business name. Love I it, love that. Love it. Um, Joshua Doyle checking in. Hey, Joshua. Hey, you got a question for all of you? Wait, hold on. Wait before you say that. My favorite balls in the house, Kelly Ball. Kelly Ball. Kelly Ball. Aspen, a little Aspen. company, a little plumbing company Aspen. named Aspen. Mountain, Mountain plumbing. plumbing. Rock Springs, Wyoming, another great right. company. Chad Collins, another great company. All right, Pride, Pride plumbing. plumbing. Out of um, Grand Junction. Colorado. Colorado. Rocky Mountain High, <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> Big another D. great company to be uh -huh. working for. Big D. All right. um, out of Texas. And uh, I don't Texas. mean Dallas, mm -hmm. yep, but out Dallas, of Texas. No. Somewhere Big in Texas. D, Busby Plumbing. Busby Plumbing. All right. Um, Angel from Bright Plumbing. That's a great name, too. That is a good name. That's really good. Um, I like that name. All right. And then um, Dennis Goad, he's live. And, All right, um, Dennis, welcome. Thank you. Glad you're here. Some, um, so, how do you guys pay? Yes. How right, does what everybody do you, pay? And what's a, a what a question I want to know what's the most amount of money you should pay a plumber? Mm. What, what's the most amount? What's, you know, what's the most amount of money? Wow, you that's pay a, a good question. Right? Mm hmm. Okay. Let me know here. Uh -huh. mm, that's We're good. Waiting. What is that? Good, good H two O. 
Is it really H two O? H two O. Is it okay? Just it is. Sure. It is really H two O. Okay. This time. Um, all right. So, what's everybody pay? Let's hear it. Yeah. What's we're, what's we're um? Here. Yeah. What do you pay? Or what was your question? What, what, what's the most amount of oh, money you yes. should pay a plumber? Okay. What's, what's the, the most that a plumber should make? Mm. Are you talking hourly? Uh, Hourly. What do you want? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what, what's the yeah? What's the most amount that? Let's make it hourly. It was simple. Okay. Hourly. Because we're gonna we're gonna get into hourly. Okay. So what's the most amount that a plumber is mm-hmm. that, that a plumber is worth? Okay. Okay. That's a really good. You question. know, a technician. I, no you one know? has an answer for that yet. All right. No one has an answer. Um, just kind of wait. Because I've I've heard it. I mean, when we paid our guys, when we get into that like, the piece rate thing, mm-hmm. and and you really what guys are really making an hour. And when I'd say what some of my guys were really making an hour, it's like you can't pay a plumber that. What? Where's that? You can't. You can't pay a plumber that. Uh-huh. You, yep. Plumbers just can't make that much money. They cannot. But why not? Why, why not? Why not? Okay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's see, Bob Kellogg. Here we come. Some comments coming. Right. Uh, unlimited. If they're making you money, mm, that's good. Um, Jim Lowry says circumstantial. Circumstantial evidence. <laughs> Circumstantial. Um, Carmen Lacasa. Oh, out here it's forty to fifty an hour. My last company, I was making fifty twenty five. Dang, mm-hmm. Carmen, um, that's a lot. Um, as many calls as as many hours as they can sell. Frankie obviously is a very smart All right. That's right. million dollar plumber. Um, All right, He's, member. Yep. Um, live baby. Hey, Mark. Live baby. Good. Good Mark, you. how you doing, man? Um, Jesse saying twenty five, uh, twenty five to thirty five an hour. Um, let's see. And let's see. Mark is also saying commission. Um, Chad is saying Chad Collins because he's smart. Um, says piece rate. Yep. Um, and then Red Brass Plumbing is saying forty bucks an hour. Yeah. So we get kind of all over the place, okay. right? Okay. All right. All, well, all over the place. Well, let's let's get into it. I know okay. one of the guy you mentioned. I think was it Mark mentioned. Um, yeah, Mark Fidette. I you know think commission. He's out of I'm not going to talk about commission or the 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 pros or cons of commission. I'm going to keep it simple okay. and just talk hourly and piece rate. Hourly and piece rate. Okay. I, um, hey, Jenna. And, uh, you know, the, the commission, I, I'm not a fan of commission because the guys, um, it, we'll, I'll, I'll kind of show it as we get in here, but, mm-hmm. but you know, commission can be manipulated. Guys don't understand it. Mm-hmm. Um, you wind up giving more of your company away without receiving the benefits back. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So I don't, I'm not going to go into the pros and cons of, mm-hmm. of commission. I'm just going to keep it simple. We're going to talk about hourly, and compare it to piece rate, okay, okay and what piece rate is. Before right, we get into that, a yes. w- couple things I'm also um, taking taking for granted, okay, is that you understand what we're what we're talking about here mm-hmm. is time, right? Okay, mm-hmm. I know, I, I, we, you know. If those that have been been part of Potty Talk Live or part of the Academy Success Academy, and certainly my mm-hmm. clients, okay, um, know that we're not selling plumbing, okay. Correct. We're selling time, mm-hmm. so we got we got to be understand that concept that your business is selling time, not right. plumbing. We're selling time, so time is very important. Right. Hey, Jen A is saying, um, "Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Um, our hourly rate is one thirty-five. I'm assuming that's your." business hourly rate not what yeah. you pay your plumbers and Jenny that is way too low that's way too low that's Jenny, what that's what it's called if that's what you're charging your Jenny, hourly I'm just gonna tell Jenny. you that's what it costs you an hour to operate yes Jenny <laughs> okay. Jenny 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 all right Jenny are you in the success academy I don't know the answer to that um right. you you need to be in the success academy that is way too low um, right. anybody else want to chime in on that one yeah some, um, some of my other so, clients yeah, yeah. kind of we get it yeah. support jenny we get don't, it. don't don't, yeah, don't smack right because we all were there <laughs> every on. single one and of i know some of you are on here you were there members. too and lower than that and yeah right some okay. started out at 75 dollars an right. hour when they started with us so anyway so, jenny okay. jenny jenny all right uh-huh. um so okay. go ahead honey. all right so we got we got this hourly concept there is time that we're selling time Okay, mm-hmm. we're selling time. Your company's selling time. Also, I'm taking into consideration um, right. that we want to yeah. live, you know, the MDP lifestyle, which is the freedom lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Okay, which means we want to systemize our plumbing business so that we create more time for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're looking for the easiest way to systemize things okay. so I don't have to be in the business mm-hmm. on top of everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so okay. let's take a look at it. All right. Now, I don't have my whiteboard here, and I apologize. I That's know, where I, I dropped the ball. 
um, mm-hmm. I dropped the ball. Okay, and I'm yep. sorry, sweetheart, too. Um, well, um, because I didn't huh? give enough time. I, I know. I know. We, well, I knew it was we 50 minutes before the show started. He's like, oh, I want to use the whiteboard, and, and we have to rearrange everything. We have the camera. and Well, what? the camera's not. We don't have things. We got things set up. You know we're in our new digs, mm-hmm. and um, and uh, the camera has to be specially set up um, for the wh- whole white scale thing. Right. So mm-hmm. that's the technical, you know, video term thing. But yep. um, it's just, uh, we, we just don't have the time to do that. Okay. okay? So but we'll you, be just fine. if you have a piece of paper or just kind of work with me in, in, in your mind, okay? Work with me, and people. And if, if you have questions, um, hit the questions. Because I want you to grasp this concept because this mm-hmm. is extremely important. Yes. Okay. That if we, if you understand this, you provide, because a lot of you guys that talk to you have this heart. I just want to provide the best opportunity for the guys. I want the best pay for them. Mm-hmm. And you know, I want all, you want all this stuff for your guys. If you truly do that, truly want that, then what, what we're going to, what I'm going to show you here truly does that. Mm-hmm. It also um, is the safest and most secure and the most beneficial to your plumbing business as well. Yep. Okay, so it's a win-win win-win. on steroids. Win-win-win. Okay, it's a win-win. All right. Okay. So, all right. But all right. so we have we got this thing about time mm-hmm. and this whole idea of you know being able to uh, system systemizable. Okay, is systemizable? that a word? Systemizable. Okay, so let's take a look at That's it. It's a word. Okay. And you get the, you get this concept of time. Yes. Because as contractors, we do this. Okay, you go mm-hmm. out and. Um, you know, let's let's do a simple job like a water heater. Okay. So even when we did it, you know, if you go out and you bid a water heater job, you okay. you go look at the job, mm-hmm. okay, and you say, well, by the time we get water heater and all this, you bid the job for four hours. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. And so you get the idea you're selling time. You are selling time, right? You get mm-hmm. so you charge whatever your hourly rate is and the materials and all that kind of stuff, okay? okay. And you say we'll do this job for X amount, okay? Mm-hmm. And you tell you know, and you expect it should be done in four hours. In fact, you probably even pad the ticket a little bit because. You and I both know it takes less than four hours to do a water heater. I'm talking a standard water heater. Right. Okay, don't come on. The wise guys out there are saying, what about the time there's a softener in the front or there's a gosh line or it's, you know, it's, it's, bolt, charge for it. it's bolted to the ceiling. All right, okay, uh, guys, okay, don't, don't let me see those faces. Okay, all right. I'm talking about a standard water standard heater. Standard water heater installation. Okay. okay, and so you know you've even padded your ticket a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. So let's take a look at that, both an hourly and in the piece rate okay okay so we, we bid that job it. okay mm-hmm. so how many of you so on with an hourly guy we send our hourly guy in the, out there mm-hmm. okay and you know the guy we're paying you know the guy we're paying 25 bucks an hour okay. right right okay, 25, 25, 25 bucks, an hour. bucks an hour okay how many times has it taken more than four hours to do the water heater that you sold or the job i mean okay. just think in your mind i know all of you have done this this is the huge complaint with my guys it's just like we always, it's always longer. There's always a problem. Mm-hmm. There's always something. They, they spend an hour longer at the supply house picking the thing up. Or right. they spend, they just, they just lollygag around. Hmm. Okay. No, All that right. That happens. Okay. Can, are, you, can, are you feeling me? Can you throw me some ones up or something? Mm-hmm. Can you th- throw me some ones if, if, if I'm, if this if, is if I'm speaking, right. If, mm-hmm. if I'm speaking your language here. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you've never experienced that, then. <laughs> Are, are wow, you, are you but sure we need not to learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> because it is just, that is the, the common complaint, mm-hmm. okay? All right? Yep. And so you send your hourly guy out, mm-hmm. and he winds up taking the, you know, you bid the job for four hours, and <laughs> you get out, and it winds up taking them six mm-hmm. or all day. Mm-hmm. How many times, sweetheart, have yeah, we, baby. in the early days, we experienced that, <laughs> and even now we hear now with our people that charge hourly, mm-hmm. you know, that they go, that the guy took all day to do a water heater. Yeah, I have no idea what took him so long. Why right. in the world? Mm-hmm. Well, well, think about it. Why not take all day? <laughs> Why not? Why not? There's <laughs> like because saying, hold on, Carmen's saying there's a lot of milkmen out there milking. Yeah, the there's a lot. There's guy. There are. Up. Okay. <laughs> all right. Because it's it's mm-hmm. there's no incentive. Right. There's there's no incentive. Okay? Why would they be incentive? Right. Incentivized. Why? They they there's they don't participate they don't in, in, in any any way, shape, or form with the success of the business, of the job going well, of doing well. Correct. Okay. And what and so the it doesn't incentivize true, them. Hold on, Greg. One second, Greg. Greg. Hey, Greg Faulkner. He was a Potty Talk Live guest hi. many moons ago. Um, you should have the water heater on the truck when you show up. Yes. You should, but if you're hourly, who cares? Who cares? I, I don't care. Right. Who cares if they should take one even from the shop or whatever right. the hourly? I mean, I don't just, care. I don't know if I'm going to get to do the water. I mean, they say I got a water here, but maybe I don't need a water here. How many? How, you know, how many times we had guys that? Right. Well, you, I told you you're going to do this job. Why didn't you grab it from the shop? Oh, I mean, we've I, don't know. I know you've experienced that, guys. I don't. Okay, know. you had guys, 
and it's with the hourly I guys forgot. because there's no incentive. They have right. no incentive whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Okay, to, to do the job. None. And Zero think about zip, the guys nada. that are good. How mm-hmm. unfair is it? Okay, you, you got Joe and Tom. Okay, and Joe, Joe decides and to camp out and just lollygag. Right. He gets twenty five bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Tom gets 25 bucks an hour even mm-hmm. uh, because it's good all right even if he's getting 27 bucks an hour mm-hmm. but he gets paid the same way mm-hmm. he doesn't benefit he gets one hour of wage per mm-hmm. hour worked right. even if he you know it's exactly the same as the other guy even if he works more efficiently right he doesn't he doesn't benefit from that right if he's like kicking butt and 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 um being intentional and on purpose right 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 mm-hmm. there's no incentive whatsoever Okay, to, to, to keep that up. Mm-hmm. And so that's why you'll see good guys come into a shop that's hourly and then all of a sudden they just stop, they just start falling back and falling back and, and right. freaking out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, okay, mm-hmm. so do you understand that? I wish I mm-hmm. could draw that on the board and you could, you could see that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got a job that you've did for four hours. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the guy even just takes six hours. We'll just make it six hours of lollygagging around. Okay. By the time Mm -hmm. he gets out there and does things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, He still, he gets paid six hours, even though you only charged for four hours, the customer for four hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're already losing that. Losing. You're losing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you're also losing opportunity. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, you had it, you sold four hours, mm-hmm. okay, but it took six hours. Well, there's two hours that you can't take care of another customer that called in. Right. Today. Correct. Okay, that's lost opportunity. Mm-hmm. So who's at, was it what, 175 bucks an hour? Who was that, how much was there? Hour, uh, 135. Jenny, 135. One, 135. Which is entirely too low, Jenny. Which is too Jenny, low. Jenny, Jenny, that's Jenny. what it's costing you an hour, Jenny. Right. If we were go through the the honest hourly rate calculator. Mm -hmm. It's costing you, any company that just even has one truck to be in plumbing business today, anywhere in the country. And especially if you're in places like California, Mm -hmm. um, New York, um, Illinois, Mm -hmm. um, the social estates. Okay, well, (laughs) Minnesota, is that an issue? Unfortunately, there's way more. Um, Where there's just the cost of doing business is more, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, It's, you know, it costs you at least even with one truck, it's, it's costing you probably closer to 150 bucks an hour um, and to that's operate. That's costing you. Costing you, mm-hmm. okay. And this ain't a hobby, okay. Not so, but in your case, you're charging 135 dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Well, you've lost okay. two hours, so you've lost the opportunity to make 270 dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying there? I do. That's with, mm-hmm. with the hourly, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. There's just there's just no uh, there's no incentive there. Right. Okay. John says opportunity cost. Yep. Yep. Op- opportunity cost. And opportunity lost. And opportunity lost. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a look at okay. this on on the piece rate pay okay. side of things. Let's look at piece rate. Okay. So on the piece rate, you bid that job for mm-hmm. four hours. Four hours. Okay. 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 Or you have a task flat rate task, mm-hmm. and it pays four hours right, right for that for that water heater mm-hmm. that same that same job. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're paying your tech twenty five dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now that now that tech um, gets paid piece rate style gets paid $25 for those four hours. And he gets those four hours, hour. what, $25 an hour. Right, 25 an hour, right. Times four. $100. So he gets, $100. The, yeah. So he gets that four hours, mm-hmm. whether it takes him an hour and a half, two hours, mm-hmm. or it takes him six hours. Yep. Okay. So is there incentive there to there's maybe incentive. get it done? Right. And not lollygag. And the incentive is is they share in the success of the plumbing business. Right. So to, if they are more efficient, they do mm-hmm. take that water heater with them. Mm-hmm. Or they do, if you have water heaters on your trucks, which we did, okay, mm-hmm. that they remember to, when they come back in the next day, to fill out their form to say, I need another water heater. So they have another water heater on the truck. So they have to go to the supply house or whatever to take up that time. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. They benefit from things, from the efficiency and the success of the plumbing business. Right. So a guy that's, that you're paying $25 an hour, Mm -hmm. okay, piece rate. Mm -hmm. All right. And that job, he does not two hours. He's effectively making $50 an hour. Ding, 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 ding. You see what I'm saying? I do. All right. Mm -hmm. You're paying a guy $50 piece rate, which I had no problem doing that. That's built into my hourly rate. All day long. All day long. He's now making a hundred bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. He he benefits. He he participates in the success of the business. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So he's incentivized to do that. Yes. And you're a better guy. So it, it rewards the guys that decide um, to work efficiently mm -hmm. and to and to not lollygag around and hang out, hang out all day at the supply house. Right. And take and take the slow boat to the next job. <laughs> if you know what I mean. All right. The scenic route. Mm -hmm. Okay. And stop at the gas station and and get you know a, you know a, a burrito from the you know in the microwave and a right. pop and mm -hmm. and you know lollygag around. Right. Okay. Hey, um, right. Luis has a great question. Yep. Um, what about a base pay as in salary for showing up? plus a piece rate per job. What say you, million dollar plumber? I say no, it, it's still, because guys will get happy with the piece rate. I mean, without the base pay, mm -hmm. okay? What will happen is they'll argue, the guys that wanna get prison pay, and that's what hourly is, mm -hmm. it's prison pay. Prison pay. Okay, it's okay. prison pay. Mm -hmm. All right, there's some harder words for it. The, the guys that are looking for that will always be focused on that hourly. If they're asking for that secure, that kind of a thing, mm -hmm. those aren't the guys that you want. It's not the guys that they don't get piece rate. They won't okay. get it. The they, right the guys right. will. Right. Lance, right here, tankless sold today. Um, sold today for 12 hours, done in eight. There we go. Exactly Does that Lance? Right. Hey, Lance, Lance. And, and that's why, I mean, love it. That's mm -hmm. why I have guys, I paid 15 hours mm -hmm. for, for our tankless. Tankless, right. Which means we sold 15 hours. Mm -hmm. And that's how I had guys that would go on a tour, you know, you know, those that, you know, when we talk about the selling made easy about how we stay within, in the, lane. Lane, within the lane, mm -hmm. you'll have guys that will get this and you'll allow this to happen where they go on a toilet call mm -hmm. and they wind up selling a tankless. Mm -hmm. All right. And the reason they do that is because they get paid 15 hours, but right. they'll get it done in seven. Yep. So basically they get two days pay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And the and right guys the, get it. And right, the right, the guys you want get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it, 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 it drives them. Mm -hmm. All right. You get happy guys because mm -hmm. they're making money. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and you're happy because it increases time. You have more time to sell. Time Again, was created out of thin air. Right. You know, there's only so much time in a day, right? Mm -hmm. But you can create more time mm -hmm. and how you do that you sell that you know you sold that four hours for that water heater job mm -hmm. okay you do it in two now you have two more additional hours to sell yep okay mm -hmm. that's why the guys that were making you know would have 15 to 24 hour days right but they were home by six yep okay hey Alan has a question so this would suggest you guys uh, you have guys selling and an install crew nope nope the the, the, nope. the, the key is to have your guys not a sales because this isn't selling. Mm -mm. Okay, this is this is selling. Mm -hmm. All right, you don't want a sales crew. You don't want anyone selling for you. You don't want an inside salesman. You don't want an outside salesman. Right. Okay. You mm -hmm. want your you want service technicians. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so your service technician can go in, and they are by offering options, are serving the customer, which winds up selling. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Does that make sense? Yep. And so, right. yeah, we do have some questions on that. Um, yep. Rob is saying, does the sales tech have to install it then? So, yep. Right. Where's that coming up here? Yep. Um, yeah. There we go. Sorry, right. honey. The, uh, does the sales tech have to do the install? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. You're right. On, on the whole. On the whole. On the whole. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may get a tech that gets really, really good and you just have them out there um you know they can kind of sell but they also will do the work you let them cherry pick the jobs they mm -hmm. want to do and can bring in younger guys right. okay and split the cost with the younger guys right okay because mm -hmm. once you get if you start doing things where i'm going to give you you know 10 percent, 15 percent of everything you sell and then you're paying some other guy you start losing it you can't mm -hmm. you can't stay on top of that you can't right. systemize that it, it just pulls you in and you wind up losing money yep this way ultimately creates you money okay because your guys the guys succeed with the business they benefit from it mm -hmm. um, an example we had um, you know we get asked about doing dig jobs and that kind of stuff I never wanted to get into all the equipment okay um, because it is specialized you know mm -hmm. we dig like you know excavators and that kind of stuff right. I mean not every guy can work an excavator Okay, mm -hmm. so we had a sub crew that would do our, our so we had a couple crews that we could use, okay, mm -hmm. that would pull the permit over the main drains because they could go out there and sell a sewer, which I paid 16 hours for, mm -hmm. which they didn't have to do the work. Right. All they did was call in the sub company, mm -hmm. all right? Yep. Okay, they called in the sub company, but they got paid 16 hours, then they'd go on a water heater job mm -hmm. or even try to go sell another sewer job. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how these guys can work, you know, we're home by five, six o'clock 
and you know we're having again 18 to 24 hour days right okay um, that's what Rob's saying my so my drain plumber goes to snake a made drain ends up selling a repair can I have the install crew come do the job and the drain guy continue on with more drain calls um, definitely if you're uh, it's coin I mean like we used subcontract I would use a sub so you're talking about using an install like you have like these lower crews again mm -hmm. you got to be focused and you got to constantly be on those guys and train up those guys right let you want guys that already know how to do this stuff, mm -hmm. okay? Let sub it out. Find a sub that can do it for the cost of an install crew. Mm -hmm. So you don't have the headache, okay, of these employees, right. other employees that you gotta stay on top of and train and make sure they do their job right. right. Okay, give another company business. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's always guys out there with a, a backhoe and a dump yep. truck. And they pull the permit, they do everything. They carry right. the insurance, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Hey, um, David has a question, and actually um, a couple of our students have already answered him um, on this. Richard, what's the, what's the honest hourly, I'm sorry, the honest average flat rate per truck across the country with a 10 to 15% net profit goal? Um, and let's see, Lance answers him and says, David, you need to build your own numbers. There we go. <laughs> Not use a national average. <laughs> Um, exactly right. <laughs> that is it. Um, All right, Lance, so let's lay it down. And, and Carmen says the same thing. It'll vary on your expenses and the area you live in. The Academy tells you all of this. Right, right. Carmen? Yep. Right. Don't this thing, there isn't, you don't go by what other companies are doing. Mm -mm. It's what you want to do. And 10 to 15% what you need to do. profit is way, way too low. low. See, you're, you're pulling those, and with all, I get, brother, I get respect. it. Then right there, with all due respect, mm -hmm. you're pulling those numbers out of your butt. Mm -hmm. Okay? You're just, well, it must be 10 to 15% because you heard 10 to 15% and all that. Right. Okay. Way too low. You need to know your numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's not difficult, um, and to you know to know those things. And I highly recommend, of course. I mean, the, the academy. Mm -hmm. Look, it's, it's I teach everything you need to know for, for the business side of, of your plumbing business. And right off in module one, we talk about uh, your honest hourly rate. The very okay? first thing the you do is get your honest hourly rate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Greg says no such thing as a national average or the going rate. Nope. Bingo. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's your rate. Right. Okay. You can't look at these other guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they don't know. When you're asking these guys right. at the supply house, they, <laughs> they don't have, know. They don't know. You, you ever, ever hear your, and, and if it's a small shop that's just getting along, okay. Hmm. All right. First, the big guys aren't going to tell you. Right. They're, not, they're not telling you the truth. <laughs> they're not going to tell you what their numbers are. Come okay. on, man. Why would right? they? Why, right. <laughs> okay. And there's other guys you're talking to at the supply house, the other guy that has a truck or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, he, just because he's jumping off the bridge, you know, Are like you your mom would say, you're going to jump off the bridge too? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they, they don't know either. Okay. Right. All right. You need to know what you need to charge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I'll tell you right now as we, with Jenny, mm -hmm. I, I can, I can tell you Jenny. just from, just from the experience and just knowing just how, what the costs are. It is costing your plumbing business anywhere from 100, at least 140 to 150 dollars an hour. Right. We're selling time, okay, with all the cost. That's with one truck. That, that's mm -hmm. just that's just you in a, in a truck, okay. All right. That's that's it's costing you at least that much, right? Okay. Yeah. To, to operate. So. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Um, let's see. Uh, we have some other um, comments coming in. Alan is saying 25 to 30 percent profit. Um, Chad Collins is saying 40% and up profit. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Profit comes from efficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And so that's another reason why piece rate is the best way to pay mm -hmm. because it, it, it systemizes efficiency within your plumbing business. Right. Okay. Now, if you want to be a taskmaster, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to be a slave driver and be on top of your guys every minute, oh, be on your business, that. you know, no and call thanks. them out there, why, why, why are you still in the water heater? What? And listening to all the excuses and all the <laughs> always guys, hourly guys will always have an excuse. Well, there's a white cat that walked in front of me and it scared me. And, and then, then, you know, I, I got, I got to sneezing because I'm allergic to cats. And, you know, there was a baby crying. And and I had they to were, take some Benadryl and then I right. fell asleep in the truck. And there were spiders. There were spiders. Spiders everywhere and trash and I mean they're all having. I had to wait an hour and a half at the supply house and uh, uh, you know it will always be there. Okay, there and is. you will always be on top of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Peace rate takes all that out of right. out of there. Okay, and in fact, it it is the fairest way to pay your guys. If you pay your guys mm -hmm. hourly, you're treating them like slaves. Okay, it's mm -hmm. prison pay. Hourly is prison pay. Hourly equals okay, prison period. pay. Okay, period. All right. Where piece rate is performance based pay, all right. right? It's easy to understand. And everybody wins. Okay, it's easy to understand. You're gonna pay me 25 bucks an hour and this many hours to do this job, mm -hmm. even if it takes me two hours, yep, you get four hours, okay? Mm -hmm. And so the guy, guys get that, 
Okay, so they're in control of how much they make. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. and they get the benefit when the company's making more, they're making more. Right. Okay, as well. And so it calls guys up, the guys that you want, right. that aren't just exactly. looking to hang out, mm -hmm. okay, and hide, mm -hmm. and that you have to beg to work. You, you can't give enough guys free meals. You never can pay yep. them enough, the, the guys yep. that are just lazy, okay, yep. that are just looking to hide out, mm -hmm. okay. Um, you know, as soon as you give them twenty five dollars, and they're going to want twenty seven dollars out. You know? right. They're not going to. I mean, it's, it's never enough. <laughs> never, okay? never enough. Marcus says. Um, so does piece rate work for subs on small things? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, yeah, what you know, piece rate works. You know, across the board because it's selling your time. So, like on the small. So, I'll take a small job like a flapper. Okay. Okay. You know, you're mm -hmm. going to pay a quarter of an hour, and there's a half hour travel built into that. Three quarters right. of an hour. You know, so. It, it incentivizes to you know to get on with things. Okay, right. um, now with subs, um, you know it's not necessarily. You we may have like well, I use the example of my my dig crews. Mm -hmm. They knew like the we had two crews that I remember that had they, one charged um, fifteen hundred dollars, the other charged seventeen hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and the seventeen hundred dollars was actually happened was the more favorite one of the of the guys because they did a better, a quicker, better job, was easier to deal with. Mm -hmm. But they were set prices, like for up to 60 foot, up to, up to four foot deep, you know, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, that, in a way, that's piece rate, you know, for them. We had set, set pricing, okay, mm -hmm. um, that, that was worked in there. Yep. So. Uh, okay, Carmen has a great question. Carmen, you always ask insightful questions. Um, what about callbacks? Do they go on their own time? How do you pay for that? Great yep. question. They got, and that's a great thing. That's a great qu question, Carmen, because mm -hmm. guys will eat, up with, eat you up with call, callbacks. Yep. The guys you want, really ultimately what you want from your crew mm -hmm. and what I work with my crew um, was they were responsible for everything. Mm -hmm. You want to create a culture where your guys are professionals. This is professional plumbing. Right. You are responsible for everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you are you are the Marines, okay? You're the 101st Airborne. Mm -hmm. there, there is no cavalry coming to save you. You <laughs> are responsible. So if right. you mess it up, all right, mm -hmm. you're responsible for your time because you benefited from the extra time, right? You got right. paid the extra time, mm -hmm. all right? And so if you mess it up, it's your time. Mm -hmm. Now, I did give my guys got one hour of callback pay a week. Right. Like one hour, get out of jail free card. That's exactly what Frankie said. Give them right. one hour courtesy, hour a week. Everything after that is on their own time. On, on their own That's time. If they're, if they're more than that, there's a problem. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. If there's more than that, then you've got a, a training issue. Now, in saying that, um, on all due fairness and just for your, the, the, the keep the good morale of the team, if the job goes south or something goes bad because of the manufacturer or right. some other thing outside their control, mm -hmm. Go ahead, you know, I, I paid them hour. I paid them their 25 bucks an hour, whatever the hourly rate was to go back and take care of it. Right. Okay. But um, already you have a culture, you know, the guys aren't looking to camp out on that. You know, you, 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 have, you have the right guys on board and the right kind of culture that you've created. Mm -hmm. That guy isn't going to look to camp out all day on that, on that callback. You, right. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Right. And the right guys do not want to go on callbacks because they're losing opportunities. Right, to sell more time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, an example, one thing that came up, this is the, I'll share what, what surprised okay. me. What? Is, you know, you know that I'm big, you know, those that watch and work, you know, no, you can't, you can't grow a business on a new construction and, you know, commercial accounts and that kind of stuff, all mm -hmm. right? The reality of it is, if, you, if you're coming from new construction, you may keep a, a GC, you may keep one or two accounts, um, that do pay you decently and Better aren't, pay you. you know, aren't a bunch of problems. Right. Or if you're coming from the commercial side, you'll keep a, a, a good commercial account or two. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and um, just to kind of help through the low times. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Now those kind of accounts, I didn't look at those as money making accounts. We did we did um, some light commercial kind of and, fillers. Right. They were fillers. They were fillers. Mm -hmm. Right. And I would send my piece rate guys, my, I mean, so guys I pay 25, 30, 35 dollars an hour on these jobs that weren't bid for that much. So they weren't money makers. Did I lose? No. Um, but it filled the, you know, it, it filled through, through lower times. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it gave a training ground for my, my lower guys. Right. Okay. That's usually who I tried to send there. Mm -hmm. But if we were slow and, and, and you know, um, it, it, gave, it gave work to guys. Now, here's mm -hmm. the thing. What? 
your good piece rate guys mm -hmm. will push back against that. Oh yeah. They could be sitting Wednesday and Thursday Mm -hmm. And you could send them out on this new construction job or this remodel job mm -hmm. and have my guy say, no, 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 I'll, no I'll wait. that's okay, I'll wait. Because mm -hmm. they don't want to work with that messy job mm -hmm. because they know on Friday there's a good chance that they could sell a sewer. Right. Or you know, they a can make it water up. heater. I'll make it up. Right. I'll worth it. I don't want to go work on that dirty, nasty job. Right. Even though you're going to pay me 25 bucks an hour to do it. I just yeah, want to do sweet. that kind of work. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want the easy work. Right. And so I've had to, find a way, well, I had to say, no, we all got to do go. this kind of work. Mm -hmm. And so I need you to go there and let's get this job done, you know, yep. and taken care of. Hey, Christy right. has a question. So whether they had a callback or not, you just pay them a callback hour or weekly? No, 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 no. Well, um, if they had a callback, um, Christy, we had a task code for that. It was CBK-100. Dash, uh, those who know this will know this through mm -hmm. the Academy, uh, 01.00. Right. And so. We um, one of those a week. You assign yes. you assign a job to them, and right. then the the unit price would obviously be zero, but it had an hour attached to it for the callback. Right. Um, for the call, I'm sorry for the the text pay. Right. And guys will whine. Oh, I, I wait. Hey, should have did it right. Yep. Sorry about you. All right. You got paid. You got paid six hours. How long did it take you? Three. Mm -hmm. Two and a half. Three. Well, okay. Then give me my hours back. Right. <laughs> give, give me give me my time back. No, they won't want to do that. No. Okay, <laughs> so they get it. I mean, the guys, the, the guys get it. Right. And what you'll find is your callbacks go down. And if you, huh. and what do you the know? guys that are having a callback, those are the guys you got to move on anyways. Mm -hmm. You got to replace. Yeah. Because no matter, you know, they just they just don't have the skill, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I think that well, we got a couple other things here. Let's see, <laughs> Patrick. Patrick Basinga works plumbing, San Francisco, Peace Rate works for men only. <laughs> I know where you're going with that, and that's true. There's no, the boys just don't, um, the little cry babies. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wes. And, um, you know, this is this is professional plumbing, all right? Peace Rate, you know, they make the big bucks. And, you know, we had guys that would make, um, you know, we're in the six figures, you know? And we're not talking about, we didn't work weekends, we didn't work holidays, we didn't work after hours, mm -hmm. okay? And this is back in the day. Yep. Okay. Back in so the day. It's it's um back in the olden days. Right. And and so they benefited from making things happen. Okay. Right. Now with that, you always have the guys another way peace rate allows and those of you in the academy would get into H V I, your hourly right. value index and mm -hmm. which is really what drives your business, okay? Yeah, it's, it's the important. one number you gotta know. Okay, mm. it's the one number. Well, when you discover that, like my HVI was 6.2, mm -hmm. okay, that covered all the expenses of my, of my business. My HVI was 6.2. Mm -hmm. So if my guys, I would tell my guys, hey, mm -hmm. you, do, you have an HVI 6, yeah. you can go home. Because mm -hmm. you have those guys. Come right. on, we know we have those guys that are always looking at 2 or 3 o'clock, they want to go home. They much rather go fishing or right. uh, go play or do, do whatever, mm -hmm. okay? Well, you know, in our, in our uh, uh, task rates, you mm -hmm. know, you sell one water heater, mm -hmm. It, it made, you know, it made 7.2 hours. Huh. They could go home after selling one water heater. Mm. And I had guys that did, allowed that. Right. And that's what kept those, that's what those guys wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. All right. That's, hey, Mike has a right. great question. If you go on a callback from another tech, do you get their money from them? Or does the plumber who caused the, who caused the issue um, get his full pay? That's a great question, Great guys. question. Yeah. Always try to send the same guy hey, back Dwayne. because he, it, it, it hurts him. Right. If I had to send another plumber, like I had to cover, then I had to pay him. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I just paid him as the company. Mm -hmm. As I just we just went ahead and paid him. Yeah, we didn't take like our way. That just I didn't, logistical nightmare. Right. If you had ended up having too many of those for some reason, the original plumber couldn't go back out. Uh, maybe Mrs. Jones doesn't want him to come back out or whatever. If you got too many of those, you've got a training issue or you have a an employee issue. Time to move a guy on. Move time on. to take him. You take him for a ride and mm -hmm. get some cannoli and. Leave the car. <laughs> with him in Get it. the cannoli. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, DW, dub. Okay. We are implementing Peace Rate Monday at Inception Plumbing. Inception Plumbing out of Sugar, Sugar Creek, Missouri. Missouri. Right. All right. Great. If you are in the Missouri area and you need to work, um, at least in that area, Sugar Creek, and you're looking for a great okay. plumbing company, Inception Plumbing. And they're doing some company. good things. There's all kinds of things. I wanted to simplify. I know 
DW, is, I know he Dope. didn't bring this up because he knows we're keeping it simple here. Mm -hmm. uh, but there, he's doing some cool things with, with his piece rate where he has a, a step up. Mm -hmm. So if you sell so many, because he really wants to push his guys, hey, if you sell this many hours, he's fancy. Then you can make $30 an hour. Mm -hmm. You sell this many hours, you'll make $35 an hour for all your hours. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it incentivize your guys right. to stay, you know, to stay in the. You know, in the in the zone, in the pocket, and, right. and to push forward. And well, another thing with piece rate, mm -hmm. the guys benefit from it because um, you know when we talk about you know the, the selling process of providing options and then allowing them to give ten percent off, which is a discount. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right. even though they give a ten percent discount, they still get their four hours to that water heater. Mm -hmm. Let's say that water heater turns into we talk about the drop dead pricing. You know, we, we right. got, well, Mrs. Jones, what were you what were you thinking on the mm -hmm. budget to be? And then you got to call the office, and the office says. You know, well, well, okay, we'll do the water heater for you know a thousand dollars. Okay, mm -hmm. the tech is incentivized to stay with that process because they get the four hours, no matter whether you the office decides to give the water heater away right. or they sell it at the regular price. Exactly. So it, it incentivizes the tech mm -hmm. to stay within the process. Right. Okay. Whereas mm -hmm. hourly, there's no incentive whatsoever. Zero. It's not your guy's zip, fault. Not. Back it's your fault right. for paying a guy hourly. No, you just, there's there's no reason. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, if I picked fault. up, on, it so is you always know. your fault. If something's going wrong with your plumbing business, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's your plumbing business. It's your fault. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's true. All right. Let's see. Um, Rob says time to get back in the academy. Long nights ahead. Yes. Time. Yes. It is time to if, back in the academy. Did you leave the academy? Surely not. Surely not. Surely okay. Not. Hey, we do it. I, I think I was going to do. You know, we do. There is some reality in the academy. You can mm -hmm. get in. And about you know the third or fourth module, it can start feeling a little overwhelming time wise mm -hmm. and all that because you're in the championship rounds, okay? And I, expl I explained that those that stick with it wind up doing very well. Mm -hmm. Those that don't, not so much. You know, I, I get it. You know, it, it's, expect when, as you get going that you know while, while you're still in the truck working, okay, you're learning these new systems and concepts and you're implementing them, mm -hmm. okay. Right? It's difficult, okay? It if it was easy, difficult. everybody would be doing it. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you this, that as sure as I'm sitting here, because I'm sitting here, if I can do it, you can do it. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So um, you just need to stick with it. Okay. Um, something I do have for you, those what? that, that are new to the program, or oh, even wondering yeah. about the Academy yet, uh -huh. but just some of these concepts that we are talking about here, right. you can you can get for free here. All right? Free. All right? In my uh, little ebook, What the Seven Must Knows to Be a Million Dollar Plumber. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we talk about these concepts. So you can sure get a do. feel for these concepts. Okay? For free. Mm -hmm. All right? Without having no commitment. Okay? All you got to do is type seven in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash seven to get your free copy. Seven, okay. that's right. One thing also I didn't mention at the top of the show, um, you always want to get notified when Potty Talk Live goes live. Um, somewhere on your device, there's just a little button that says get notified. So get notified. What's stopping you? Mm-hmm. Yep. Do it. All okay, right. That was it. Okay. That was, that was myself. That was there. We go. One okay. final thing on piece rate. Okay. Can I give one final thing on piece rate? And this is kind of what today's where where kind of things have gone to. Now you're gonna want you're gonna want to protect yourself, okay? Because um, uh, state governments are getting more, especially like California. Mm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm, the, mm. the social state of California, <laughs> um, New York is one, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. um, Michigan. Um, you, you can see these states that have all these issues. <laughs> Right. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, um, are, are really um, are cracking down on businesses that actually want uh, their employees to be successful, okay? Correct. So they, they, they're staying in their little box. So what I, what I mean by that is mm -hmm. um, with piece rate, it's not like you're playing, you know, so if you'd call the state and say, here's how I'm gonna pay my guys, okay? Oh. All they would know, the little person there at the state office, well, you gotta pay them for every hour they work. Mm -hmm. You got you got you got to pay them for every hour they work. <laughs> you go, well, well, I'm paying them more hours than what they do work. No, 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 no. You have to pay them. You, for you, every you hour got to pay them for every hour they work. Right. So, mm -hmm. the bottom line with that is, you do want to keep track of your hours that yes. the guys are working. So, um, what I mean by that is, so use the example of say this the water heater guy. Okay. Okay. You know right, and you're, you're paying him twenty five bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and really he works nine hours that day, but just does the one water heater, lollygags around, does the one water heater, and you pay him, you know, 25 bucks an hour, mm -hmm. you're paying him, you know, 225 or whatever that is, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, on the piece rate guy, mm -hmm. let's say he just gets the one water heater job, 
um, and he sells, you know, you pay him 25 bucks an hour times 40, so he gets 100 bucks, right? Okay. Okay. Sure. For that, but there's no other work for him. You just keep him around, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe have him clean the truck, okay? Right. He's kind of, he just hangs around, okay? Mm -hmm. The state, some states will come hard, well, you've had, you've kept him around, you gotta pay him for that time, okay? You gotta make sure that he gets the most for that time, all right? Now, what the state is looking for, they're gonna want you to pay him times their minimum the state minimum wage. Yeah, whatever your state's minimum wage is. So an example of, you know, with the guy that worked nine, you know, say the, the same guy that you paid piece rate, um, made a hundred bucks, you know, 25 an hour, he just got the four hours and he just hung around for nine, you know, still nine hours, mm -hmm. okay? And, and, the, and the minimum wage is 10 bucks an hour. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'd want to be able to show the state, if they ever did come calling, if they ever did come calling, right. that, okay, you paid him more. I paid him a hundred dollars, but by your, by your rules, um, I should have paid him, you know, ninety dollars. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, Chad kind of simplified it for you. Chad Collins, pay them right. whichever one is greater, hourly, piece rate, or overtime. Yep. Yep. Exactly right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of ten, it's going to be piece rate. Right. So, right. Okay. Radio. Right. Okay. So there we have it. There we piece have rate, it. Piece rate's the way to go, guys. It is, okay? for sure. All right. It is, uh, again, it's the fairs for the guys. It's the, the greatest opportunity for you guys mm -hmm. to succeed with your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. And it makes it the easiest uh, for you to systemize your plumbing business, where uh -huh. you don't have to be there slave driving and whipping and spurring the guys. To Freedom. Keep moving on and what's going on here and get, being all worked up. Why Why did it take you so long to go from here to there? And why, why what, you know, what's going on over there? And, and, you know, and then hiring other people to keep track of those guys to make sure they get to the job on time and blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. All right. If you, unless you're looking for that kind of lifestyle, that's what you want then hourly is your way to go. Right, Okay. Now we're all about freedom here. Okay, but if you're looking for the freedom lifestyle, mm -hmm. piece rate is your ticket. That's your right. Your ticket to ride, mm -hmm. okay? okay? All right, hey, if you wanna learn more about this kind of concepts, mm -hmm. the pay, the, this kind of piece rate pay, and how oh, it works, okay? We're frozen, okay? I don't know why. Always frozen. And yeah. other aspects of your plumbing business, okay? That's important for you to understand about your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you're, you're creating Honest your hourly rate. Honest hourly rate. Some of the things we just talked about here, mm -hmm. okay? The right kind of marketing, mm -hmm. all those kinds of things. Branding. All right, branding is a biggie, right? Mm -hmm. All that stuff is, is in my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, sure okay? Enough. And it's all there for you. And you can check it out for free, 14 day free trial. Okay, Jenny, if you're not Jenny, there yet, just check it come out. On, Jenny. Okay, simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. All right, it's a good one. There you have it. Peace rate, performance based pay, not prison pay. Okay. It's really loud. Sorry. All right. Hey, I'm about ready to let you go. Flush this episode. But as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, mm -hmm. and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.